Hey, welcome to this um, basic video tutorial where we're going to go over the different kinds of templates available in Google Docs. So I'm on the screen where I can start a new document and I have a couple different options. I'm going to go ahead and open a few of these just so that you can get familiar with them. One of them is a great, there's some great resume examples. So if you have to create a resume, we can go ahead and open this resume template. On this website template, we, I mean, this is great for like high school students that are looking to, you know, go to college and they have to send out a resume. I think this one's got a lot of power to it. <clears throat> um, another one, we can look at this coral resume. If we look on here, it's very simple. It's got a little bit of another or a color change. There's not as many things on it, so if you're not, if you don't have as many things to share on your resume yet, this one would be a great template for you. Other templates on here, I mean, there's a lot. You can go. There's more. So look, look at all the different options. This is like a serious amount of options. So <clears throat> ones that I think that could be beneficial. This brochure one looks great. But if we scroll up, even in the resume section itself, there's four different kinds of resumes that you can choose from, which is great. I really like this green one. I think it just, I mean, change the color of the green, but keep the rest the same. There's also these letters. So if you're writing a professional, you know, if you're writing a cover letter, if you're writing like a thank you letter to somebody, these are some amazing thank you letters. Next, we have reports. If you don't know the format of a report, I mean, this is something that I know everybody uses at one point or another in their life for education law to create reports. There are some really solid reports here where we have ones with picture and the little introduction. We have this one that's just a picture with the name on the front page. Then we got some MLA style, so it shows you what kind of styling you need for MLA and APA. <clears throat> now I wish I looked I wish this was existed back when I was in college because this would have saved me a lot of time. You know, just understanding the format and making sure I don't get any silly points off for, you know, not tabbing something enough or not indenting something enough. <clears throat> These lesson plans are great. I mean Google Docs really does tailor towards education and towards teachers. So keeping these you know as a teacher look at these different lesson plans options you know look how beautifully crafted this looks this this looks perfect because if you're going to send something to your principal when they're going to observe you i mean this is a great lesson plan that really looks like you spent a lot more time with it, with it than you did because you used a layout it just makes things look more professional <clears throat> and then down here we have more of this you know work related things where we have project proposals and then we have a newsletter one down at the very bottom a brochure one but they're really I mean take the time to really look through Google Documents templates because they're a lot better and a lot more modern than some of the other word processing software out there. I'm not going to point, point any names. But, yeah, and then just to look at one last one, we'll look at this brochure one. Like, see, I mean, it's it, this is a great brochure. And, like, if you have to create something as a project for some for a class, you can really make things look stand out and look professional by using these kinds of templates. So I hope that helps. Otherwise, um, you know, if you like this, please give it a thumbs up. But I am signing out, and I'll see you next time.